What's going on everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. Today we're at the Goodwill Bins trying to get a bunch of stuff to flip for a profit on eBay. Earlier we got uh, 79 items. Spent 79 bucks. Let's go back in here and see if we can reproduce those same results and get some good stuff guys. Stay tuned. So tell me why I saw this graphic and I was like man it looks cool. Then I looked at it and it's the future farmers of America. They straight got me bro. I thought that was like something that was worth picking up to resell. Got an Under Armour button up. I didn't even know I'm on Under Armour made button ups, guys. You definitely gonna pick that up. Look it up. Got this Prana shirt. I just sold a shirt dress like pretty much identical to the same make uh, this morning or yesterday morning. So I'm definitely gonna get this today, guys. Got the super crispy blinged out Victoria's Secret thing uh, hoodie. I said thing. You can tell I'm getting tired, guys. I've been here all day. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab this though, guys. Got these sport mirror. These appear to be some type of cycling shorts because it's got the padding in there and cycling shorts can be pretty good. So we're gonna grab these and look them up. Got some men's American Eagle jeans. They look to be in okay condition. We'll grab those, give those a look over. We got here, Araya jeans. I picked these up too. Araya jeans seem to do okay. Size 16, decent size. We'll grab those as well. What else we got over here? What is this? DKNY, that's trash. Glory Vanderbilt, that's trash. Hollister, hey, we'll grab that. That looks pretty cool. Hollister paddle relay. Awesome. What else they got in this band, man? This thing dropping off a little bit of heat right about now. Panic at the Disco, okay. Panic at the Disco shirt. Stay up on that rise okay i'll grab that too hopefully there's nothing wrong with it all right guys got a full cart we're gonna go ahead and start going through the stuff seeing as how i got kicked out of here last time because i ran out of time so we're gonna go ahead and start looking through the stuff show you guys what i got all right so right off the flip i'm gonna have to put this hollister uh hoodie back just because there's these little dark spots on there and uh i'm just not gonna try and list it with that because i'm pretty sure it's not gonna wash out so all right, guys, the Araya jeans are going for $14.99, $17.50, $25, $7.99, $17.99, uh, $16.50, $18.95, $18.23, $13.18.88. So kind of all over the place. Definitely going to be worth getting. Um, most recent sale is the second. So that's good enough for me. So the American Eagle jeans are going for pretty good money too and the sell through rate is uh, 100%. So we got a $28.99 that sold today. We got a $21.94 to sell today. Best offer accepted. So we actually don't know what they sold for. The $22.99, $22.99, $16.15, $23, $9.24 and so on and so forth. So I'll definitely get them guys. I'll list mine for closer to $25 and see what's up with the sell. Uh, I got this shirt right here. It's a uh, blip shift. I don't know what blip shift is, so I just looked it up. And uh, I'm assuming it's something for cars because they've all got Ford Broncos on them. So, well, they've all got vehicles on them, should I say. This one is a Ford Bronco. This one is a 2018 Roadster of some sort. Mini Cooper, Dodge, Van, I don't know, some stuff, guys. Either way it goes. Uh, 10 listed let's see what they're selling for all right we got a 100 sell through rate 10 listed 10 sold we got a 17 at 12.99 uh 19.99 650 19.99 3.99 15.99 8.6 12.99 all right well, that's okay uh seems to be in really good condition like it's never been worn or washed so we'll go ahead and grab it, see what happens with it Got another one of these simply uh southern collection shirts this one says fur mom on it and it is brand new so should be able to get about 20 15 to 20 bucks for this got a life is good shirt these go for about 10 to 12 bucks all right guys so for this pink jacket we got comps of 59 26 36 44 39 39 45 29 29 30 30 26 35 28 25 29 
although I, you know, will list it for that, I just don't think anybody's going to offer me that much just because I rarely get full price sales. But nonetheless, we're going to get it and list it for about $30. Alright guys, I'm actually pretty impressed with the comps on this Under Armour button-up shirt. Over 100% selfie rate, right? and then we got uh, 45, 34, 35, 35, 29, 29, 24, 99, 36, 29, 29, 30, 29, 26. And a lot of that, 100, over 161 sold, so I'm not going to read all of them, but $35 bill sitting right here, guys. Let's get it. Got a little Talbot sweater here. Those last Talbot sweaters have been selling so well for me, I decided to not leave this one behind. I've been selling those for about $16 to $20. So, man, easy money, guys. I was going to get this Tommy Bahama polo shirt, but then I looked, and this size tag is cut out. And I just ain't messing with measuring it, guys. All right, guys, these Sportner um, cycling shorts, I'm seeing this This is the exact same kind, but just different colors. They sold for $24.99 in pounds. I don't know what that converts to in American money, but we're gonna go ahead and get those. The, these are $31 uh, from the United Kingdom. Same ones, just black. These are black and gray. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get them 100% selfie rate. These are all just plain cycling shorts, but still looking close to the $25 bill here. I assume that's what a pound converts to. Heard that in the dollars. Uh, I heard that the pound and the dollar are pretty close uh, with each other right now. So we're really going got this Under Armour Storm Full Zip Jacket. Uh, pretty great condition. $28 for black one. $18.99, $29.99, $12.75, $59.79. That's actual cold gear though. This is just storm. Well, it says storm too, but this isn't a like a puffer jacket at all. Uh, Twenty nine forty. Let's see. So yeah, guys, looking pretty decent on comps at least. Uh, I'll call it a twenty dollar bill easily. All right, guys. So I have been picking up uh, kids' clothes lately. That is a kids polo seersucker shirt. These are boys polo jeans. Uh, we got some sales comps of 15, uh, 15, 99, 17, 15, 12, 5. Oh, those are bids. We got a 9, a 12, a 49. Nice. Those are way cooler than these, though. And $24. So, with that being said, um, same amount of work, same price I get for uh, a lot of men's jeans. So, might as well go ahead and grab the kids jeans, right? Alright guys, we have American Eagle Longboard shorts. These are just plain uh, khaki shorts. Over 100% selfie rate. The prices are going for 35, 35, 18 for some camo, 20, 33, 12, 16. So kind of all over the place as you probably would expect. But 19, we got a 20, a 29.99. So I'm gonna go ahead and list these for uh, 25 bucks. Turn on best offer and hopefully no one offers anything. Got a Salty Dog Cafe shirt. Pretty good selfie rate, guys. And we got some 22, 12.99, uh, $20, 14, 11.95, 16.20. 1188, 1250, 14, 1095, 799. A lot of comps all over the place. Two for 24.99, 15.99, 14.20. So uh, there's another 20. I'll probably price it at 20 and then see what happens. But yeah, man, I'm actually pretty surprised at the sell through and the comps that these are going for just because I think for some reason I think I've heard of this place, man. But you know me. Um, I just grab stuff just based off the look and it just look like it would sell. And lo and behold, got a good sell through. Got some more Not Your Daughter's jeans. Uh, picked up a couple pairs of these earlier today on my first trip. These go for uh, about $25 is what I'm going to list them for. All right, I got this Harley shirt. Uh, that's the back. This is the front. The Trail of Honor. This is uh, from Mississippi. The front says 2003. The back, the back says 07. So I'm not going to list it as vintage because neither one of those dates are vintage. But this is a big size. It's a 4XL. So should have 
no problem getting rid of it i'll probably sell it for about uh twenty dollars we got us some vintage wrangler carpenter jeans these are going for uh twenty dollars 51 if they are new with tags let me turn off the new all right so we got comps of 19 18.99 18 20 37 for 2 7 99 34 18 9 20 24 26 18 so i'll list mine for uh 20 bucks trying to get me a sell of you know hopefully close to 20 bucks but no less than like 15. all right guys got a harley henley from 2006 it's a men's extra large very basic no motorcycles on it or nothing like that nothing it's not as cool as a normal harley so it's not going to go for as much it's just harley spell out down the sleeve probably 15 bucks all right got another harley shirt this one's the coolest of them all this one is a 3xl um harley davidson vintage style 2015 graphic let's see what the back says the back says Southern Devil Harley Davidson in Cartersville, Georgia, 2015. So yeah, guys, pretty cool shirt. Um, I'll probably list it for about $25. Turn my best offer, and uh, hopefully I'll get a fairly uh, reasonable offer. And uh, yeah, Harley for the win today, man. Uh, definitely uh, ain't too mad about that, that's for sure. We got the vintage Orvis with the padded leather elbows. Uh, just a little sweater, you know, quarter zip sweater. I sell these for about $25, so glad to find that. And then I found some hats, but I think they're all unbranded. Nothing uh, spectacular. Yeah, unbranded. Unbranded. New York Yankees, unbranded. Washington, D.C. That's a... Uh, not even an actual sports brand uh city something and this one is a new era hat so 2006 world champions new era hat that may be worth getting i don't know and then we got another super raggedy nike hat uh legacy dry fit we'll throw this in the washing machine after soaking it with oxyclean with the other hat see if we can get those clean and if not like i said man this weighs like nothing so if uh it doesn't come that clean then i'll just re-donate it or you know probably sell it as is man and just lot them together give somebody a really good deal on two dusty hats and let them do whatever they're gonna do with it so we're gonna put all these back i'm probably just gonna put this one back too because what size is this one size fits all whatever uh we'll put these back and then I'll look up comps on this one and see what that's going for. Okay, so we got two comps, two sold comps. One sold for $8.96 for pre-owned and one sold for $19.95 brand new. Uh, both of these were back in May. Uh, I don't I don't know when basketball or baseball season is over with or when it starts even. But uh, I'm pretty sure that you know somebody may buy this eventually. I just don't know if I want to hold on to it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty dusty too, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. Same goes for this one, man. Uh, I don't know, guys. This one actually sell for some good money if I could get it clean, but I don't know. Z it's like zero effort, man. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll get both of them, guys. Just throw them both in the washing machine and however they land is however they land. But anyway, we're gonna load this stuff up, give you guys a breakdown back at the car. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here we are back at the car. About the rain, 69 items. We spent $71.87 uh, for a total buy cost of a dollar and five cents per item. Now, I believe that with $70, I can say that Let's say 15 for the Harley shirt, 15 for the Harley shirt, that's 30, 15 for the Harley shirt, that's 45, right? Under Armour shirt goes for about 30 bucks, so that's 65, and we'll just throw in the pink hoodie for good measure. And so with these items paying for everything, this leaves the rest of this for profit. So yeah guys, not a bad day in my book here at the Goodwill Benz. 
A lot of stuff to flip for a profit on eBay. Love it, guys. No better way to make money. Well, there probably is a better way to make money, but I don't know. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Got to get out of this rain before it starts storming. Catch you guys on the next one. But until then, let's make this cash, guys.